teach at Saint Edmond uh, High School on the south shore of Montreal in Greenfield Park. And uh, the class you're going to see is a secondary three easel class. Uh, these are students who are fairly strong orally. So what we did last period is that we split into teams of uh, four, sometimes five, but usually it's four. And we uh, decided, I told you, which team would start by station A, which team would start by station B, etc. And you wrote this on your booklet. Uh, so the stations were placed in little islands all over the class. Each station is about 30 minutes. So in your student booklet, you write the answers. On your station, you have a folder, folder with the name of the station. Once you get at your station, you open the folder. There are instructions. Sometimes there's USB keys, sometimes there's envelopes. And you follow the instructions. And in your student booklet, that's where you have to answer. Sometimes it's writing, sometimes it's talking. If it's just discussion, sometimes you have nothing to write. I'm listening to your English. So it's important to be speaking English and to be on topic, even if I'm not standing right next to you. If it's writing, you might have to finish after or at home. And when there's writing to do, it's gonna be evaluated. So it's important to write properly, use proper spelling, use proper grammar. Uh, sometimes you have to watch your video. I had asked you to bring your earphones. If you don't, I have extra ones. And uh, I also told you last period that today you could bring your electronic gadget, iPod, phone, whatever. It should be in your pocket. You can use it. You can use your electronic gadget. If you're finished, your station ahead of time. So if you're finished, you can take it out of your pocket and you can go where? Quan Quizlet, to study your word. Resources so needed for the workstations, which you're going to see in this lesson. So it's a workstation approach. The theme is a zombie. So they're zombie stations. So all little activities related to the theme of zombies. Uh, I use the laptops for this activity. Not all stations need ICT and certain stations uh, for a teacher who's not that uh, comfortable with the management of all the ICTs, of all the, the laptops. For some stations, we could replace the computer by a paper version. For example, in one part, uh, they go online and read an extract of The Walking Dead, the comic. Well, um, a paper version could be easily printed for this one. Step two. Do you have to do one? Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh. You do. I do this one, you do this one. I do this one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mine was in color. Very no. limited. So now we will watch the video. This video chronicles the prank that two brothers pulled on their little sister. We need to write a story about uh, the zombie apocalypse. We need to pick cards about where it's going to happen, who you're going to be, and how. I like using the station approach in high school. I think it's a good idea, especially with all um, the students being absent a lot. So sometimes with an LES or an ES, it makes it harder because a student missed one of the parts that was essential to the next part. They have to come at lunch, and you're, you know, so it's a lot of management with stations. They're all independent, so if a student is absent one day, he can still continue with the work the next period. So that's what I like about them. There's a lot of opportunity to evaluate C1 with the stations because uh, some of them are only discussions, so then you can really evaluate it, but others, the students are going to be collaborating together so you can evaluate participation, and that's good. And then at the end, uh, they have a student booklet that they walk around with at each, at each station 
And at the end, you pick up the student booklet and there's stuff to correct for to grade for C2 and C3.